J-Bot back with another HMV video. Some news has come out. Uh, Doug Putman has fucked up again. However, there is some good news. He has actually renegotiated the rent on five stores. And they are... Uh, I have a list in front of me that's just gone weird. Um, Meadow Hall Sheffield. That's the HMV. HMV Glasgow. Brian Head. Uh, HMV Blue Water. And FOP Glasgow Buyers and FOP Bath. So that's... Five stores. Yes quite quickly so that obviously means he's not actually made any of the staff from these shops redundant yet they've obviously been left in limbo and with a certain amount of weeks before they will be redundant if he doesn't get this sorted out that would appear to be what is happening so yes um what kind of plan this is i don't know why not just leave the fucking things open while you're negotiating why you need to close them and lose income while renegotiating i mean i think it's a little bit cheap you're trying to renegotiate the rent anyway i mean who the fuck do you think you are i know the rents are outrageous but who the fuck do you think you are to try and renegotiate them these businesses that own the, the buildings are trying to make money i know some of them have dropped them to support you but still it's it, it's really quite odd however with five being saved <laughs> the <laughs> Um, there is one major fuck up in that. Um, I wonder what amendment I need to make for the last video. They've actually closed every store in London bar FOP in Covent Garden. What a fuck up. I mean, not having a, a proper shop in the capital city? Where's the logic in that? Anyway, he's royally fucked that up. Yes, his big fucking plan of closing... 27 stores then renegotiate them. Has bit him on the balls. He's lost Oxford Street, HMV, the flagship one. Which happens to be sublet by Foot Locker, who are looking at other retailers to go in there. Yes. He fucked up there. And, you know, this is what happens, you know, when you don't do stuff the way you should do it and closing stuff you end up losing your stores on the plus side on another plus side apparently he's in the process of renegotiating the rent on the fop in oxford so we shall see what comes of that uh other than that there really isn't any other news it's just a complete mess at the moment there's nothing happening with the website They've done fuck all with the events that were meant to happen at the Oxford Street store. They're still in limbo for people, particularly pure card members that have sort of paid for tickets and stuff for that. And they've, you know, left in limbo. Yeah, nice fucking going. I mean, what crack is this uh, Doug Pittman guy fucking smoking? This is not the way to do business. Putting staff in limbo and risking major stores and then the stores that he's negotiating to reopen uh you know his choice is stupid i mean like i said the one of them is the only one not the only one that was actually shut in the yorkshire area you know why is that so important to negotiate when there's others in that particular area when you've got other places that don't have any. You know, do you actually have any sort of fucking business plan? I think not. I really think not. Anyway, I think that is it for this video. I'm sure this is not going to be the last. I think I will be doing these for quite some time. As more and more stores either reopen or there's more and more fuck ups. There probably is going to be. I imagine. As it is, the stores are getting stock replenishments at a fucking snail's pace. And he's trying to he's trying to actually blame all of HMV's failings on uh, building rentals, which is just fucking bollocks. 
He's obviously got an issue with business rates and business rentals. You know, if you've got all this money, buy the fucking buildings that HMV are in outright. Then it's not so much of a problem, is it? Fucking hell. Anyway, ta-ta for now. J-Bot back with another...